For the last week and a half, Phil Vetrano has kept in close contact with NYPD detectives who are working to solve the murder of his daughter, Karina. But with no break in the case, Phil is now printing and posting reward flyers. Half of the people in my house just now were my neighbors. My neighbors are going to come with me to put the flyers up. And trying to remain strong for his family. Do you have any apprehension about going in here now? I've been in there every day. I still go in there every day. None whatsoever. Phil and his wife Kathy are hoping $100,000 in reward money will loosen lips in their famously close-knit neighborhood. This is a current poster. It is a reward for $100,000 for the arrest and conviction. Well, we needed some information. No questions asked. A hundred grand, a lot of money. In their first sit-down interview, the Vetranos discussed the potential they saw in their 30-year-old daughter. It was nothing that she wasn't capable of doing. That was before someone brutally sexually assaulted and killed Karina during an evening jog in the federally protected Spring Creek marshland, just blocks from the family's home. And I said, I don't think it's a good idea to go in there. And she said, it's okay, Daddy, I'll be all right. That was the last thing she said to you? Basically, yeah. After failing to return home from a run along a path carved out of eight-foot-tall weeds, Phil says he felt something was wrong. And I got a feeling. It came over me. She was talking to me then. And I got off that couch, and I went looking for her. The retired New York City firefighter called police and searched the weeds with detectives who used cell phone tracking technology to ping Karina's phone. Phil made the gruesome discovery. We're still in a state of shock. Not surprisingly, the Vetrano say closure is not even an option. So needless to say, to think of her last moments are indescribable. And peace, at least right now, takes a back seat to anger. Peace, peace, peace to me and closure to me is going to come the day I see Karina. That's when peace will come. Up until that point, you talk about anger and rage. Is forgiveness in that equation, eventually? No. That's up to the Lord to forgive. There is no forgiveness coming from this end. I am a very forgiving person. I believe in the Lord. I believe in beautiful things, and I will never, ever, ever, ever forgive. The Vetranos have been leaning on a loyal network of family and friends and say they are not concerned with conspiracy theories circulating around the circumstances of Karina's death. I have not been listening to rumors. <clears throat> Whatever slight things that I've heard have been a place that I can't even go to. They are wholly convinced those weeds have served as a hunting ground for people with bad intentions for far too long, and that Karina was the victim of a random crime of opportunity. You, you could have the happiest place in the world, and you have scum that come into it to hurt, kill, and destroy, that's the problem. In the meantime, Phil and Kathy say their new job is keeping Karina's legacy alive. We made it through a lot of things, and we're going to make it through this. They want the world to know the fitness fanatic that was their friend and daughter earned a master's degree and graduated with honors. Adding Karina began working as a speech pathologist earlier this year. She was such a hard worker, such a go-getter. She would, she would work three jobs. Phil says Karina was fearless. In your experience, have you ever come across any of the sketchy characters that we've been hearing about? I have. I have seen them in there. 
but I never worried about them because like my daughter and how my daughter got her fearlessness from is from me. Friends of the Vetrano family have set up a fundraising effort via a GoFundMe page when we were in the Vetrano home earlier today. It was approaching $100,000. It has already surpassed $150,000 and is still climbing. 